closer I get to you The more you make me see By giving me all you've got Tell me more Ooh, yeah Your love has captured me
right back. Hey, Miss Beloved, we are gathered here to join each other hand in hand. No more playing house, no. Cause I want to make it real. Do you understand? To have it to hold mm -hmm. until death do us part. No one, no one could ever interrupt the beats of our heart. Cause this is gonna last. And interrupt this ceremony Oh baby yeah. All you gotta do is say You love me Say that you love me And we will walk Yeah Everywhere Can't compare Girl you got the kind of love
together here in the sight of God thank you and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony which is commended of Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore is not to be entered in lightly unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come together to be joined. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. In the quiet bowels of the Garden of Eden that God made man. And he made him in his image. The Bible tells us that God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. So, with loving care, he removed a bone from Adam's side. With love and care, like he fashioned Eve, control. and God brought Eve to Adam. Thus, the scripture suggests that God specifically made Eve for Adam, and Adam for Eve. It is important for a husband to learn something about receiving his wife by observing the manner in which God created Eve. God did not use a bone from Adam's foot to suggest that he should lord it over his wife, nor did he take a bone from his head to suggest that Eve that Eve should lord it over a husband. In choosing to use Adam's rib, it suggests that Eve was created to share life at Adam's side, close to his heart. Also, since Adam was created first, it is suggested that God intend man to initiate spiritual leadership in his home. Andre, it is your commitment to receive Crystal to your side, to love her, to open your heart to her, and to be the spiritual leader in your home. Do you promise? So make her feel like you. Crystal, the woman learned something important about her role, too. And we observed the order of the creation in as much as God intended for the life is to truly consider, consider herself a gift to her husband. 
this is this in turn suggests that she must trust her husband as the leader in the home, Sister Christian. As the New Testament bears out. This of course means that the wife must be submissive to her husband as spiritual authority and leadership in the home. Crystal, it is your commitment to receive Andre as your spiritual head and be submissive to his leadership and supportive as his loving wife? I do. All right. <laughs> Amen, sister. Andre, would I have this woman to be thy awaited wife? To live together after God's audience in the holy estate of matrimony? Would thou love her, comfort and honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. Crystal, would I have this man to be thy wedded husband? To live together after God's audience in the holy estate of matrimony. Will thou obey him, serve him, love him, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. As an expression of your commitment today, Andre and Crystal, mm -hmm. you will now exchange wedding wings and vows. <laughs> this ring suggests their commitment to unfailing purity and fidelity in their love. The completed circle suggests the commitment on the part to all their, on their part to always remain together, never reject one another, and to seek openness, to see life from one another's viewpoint with the understanding that each of them makes a vital contribution to the strength and charity, character of the other. Excuse me. Will you please pay, place the ring on the bride's finger? Andre? As you now take this ring and put it on the bride's finger as you've done, please repeat these words <laughs> after me. This is the easy part. With this ring, With this ring I commit my love to you. I commit my love to you. All of my love. All of my love. So do I love you. As this ring, as this ring. Oh, as this ring. <laughs> Never, never break. break. It's a circle. I will love you. Crystal, as you place this ring on your groom's finger, please repeat after the after me. Uh, Andre. Andre. With this, ring, With this ring, I commit all I of my commit love, all my love to, you. to you. As I love the Lord, as I love the Lord, that's how I love you, man. That's how I love you, man. You get married, Andre. The couple now wants to do the. They're gonna do the, the sand ceremony. Father, we thank you for this moment in 
what this couple, beautiful couple has done. They showed this company. They showed all of us. And they showed you, Lord, that they love each other. Lord, right now, bind their spirits, bind their hearts, and their minds like they've never been before. In Jesus' name. Amen. For as much as Crystal and Andre have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and hitherto have given pledge to each other, I hereby, by the authority of the laws of the state of Mississippi, sanctioned by divine authority, pronounce you, Andre, and you, Crystal, lawfully married, husband, and why? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. May the God before, before whom you have thus vowed look upon you and bless this union. For therefore God has joined together. Let nobody, nothing, anybody put asunder. You may.
sit down, sit down to me From heaven above I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been Looking for love for so long, so long Oh, then you came and gave me A love that was so strong See, I, I, I've been looking Looking for love And I found it in you Oh, my dream come true And I I, I never loved